A new prison has been released, created by Mining Ball, partnered with six of his friends who have come up with an inescapable prison, triumphing over his earlier designs, the Obelisk and Titan's Vault. This time, the prison much taller, completely filled with crying obsidian, has received some numerous upgrades to existing features from its predecessors, and newer security systems which truly make this prison inescapable. After a few post-production additions, the V2 version of this prison is out, and it is perfect. Well, almost perfect. Tartarus is completely encased in Crying Obsidian and is topped off with the Cobblestone Generator Crying Obsidian Duo. Inside the walls, there is a 4 thick chunk band perimeter and a total of 6 guards spread throughout all time zones so that at least 2 guards are always present inside the prison. The kill check are a real masterpiece. The nether portal leads directly into it and you'll be watched at all times not allowing you to sneak in items. The prison hallways are cards food proof, wither proof, TNT proof. Guards can see what you're doing at all times not allowing you to do anything suspicious. Then there's the cell. Its ingenious design allows it to keep its bed 100 plus blocks above the cell floor, meaning that the player can never reach it. Water covers the floor of the prison so that prisoners cannot take any fall damage, neither can they drown due to there being conduits nearby. And the walls of the cell are split into two different basalt generators, which take about 0.3 seconds to replace when broken. Breaking a piece of basalt will take you exactly 38.54 minutes. There is also a guard always present in shifts over the main cell to make sure that the prisoner is never doing anything suspicious. If suspicious activity occurs, the guard can trigger a lockdown. This is the prison's main feature. The prison was designed in such a way that all the guard passages are only confined to one chunk. This means that the other two chunks have a toggleable chunk ban. This is applied when a lockdown is triggered, chunk banning both the visitor chunks, making sure that nobody inside those chunks can ever escape the prison. Even with all of these defenses, there was still one weak point in the prison, and I'll be exploiting it to its fullest extent. This is the story of how I escaped Tartarus, a prison that was more inescapable than any other before. For this escape, you're going to need two markup accounts. One you can borrow from your friend or use an alt account. You're also going to need TNT, flint and steel, potion of the master, two potions of invisibility, a golden pickaxe with efficiency 5, and an enchanted golden apple. Upon receiving your head to enter the medical floor, I entered using my own account and the alt account following me. Once in nether, I switched to the alt account and splashed it with invis and then ate a gapple. Then I was given the go ahead to re-enter the nether portal. I did this first with the alt account with the potion of Turtle Master, drinking it while I was entering the nether portal, then chucking out the bottle while I was still in the nether. This gave me about 20 seconds before the potion effects ran out. Switching back to my main account, I entered the nether portal and entered the cell. This meant that I only had 10 more seconds left before the potion effects ran out. I confirmed with the guard I was already in the cell and then quickly inserted my items into the hopper. Informing the guard that I did so, he instantly killed me using the potion dispenser above, respawning me into the lava pocket to search for items while my alt account was still at the first decontamination room. Once I was in the final hallway, the bed was shown to me. I did not set my spawn point in it, instead I clicked the block outside. The guards will not be able to tell whether you actually set your spawn point as there's no way to see this. As the passageway was unwieldy, I climbed up the ladders and went in, then gave the excuse that my mother had called me for 5 minutes, then I started breaking the ladder up here. Then I used F3 plus FN plus D while holding down my break block button to auto click. Then I shifted to my alt account. Balls editing me here. If you're in the V3 version of the prison, things will look slightly different with there being string instead of blocks. So you'll want to break the observer on this side here and place the D there. And when you're going to kill yourself, you'll figure out how to do that later. You'll want to do it really fast. Okay, that's it. Bye bye. Everything else is the same. 
and start breaking this wall here. The guards will not be able to see me as one of them is escorting me while the second one is trying to go to the spy on prisoner as they are always watching the cell or waiting for my arrival. The time taken to break the wall should be about 1.3 minutes allowing you to break this block before the ladder is broken. Once the block is broken, you want to place TNT there. There are multiple ways of breaking the bed, but this is currently the fastest method. Therefore, I am using this one. Then I switch back to my main account moving up the ladder because the guards could not see me up here even if they open the door. Then I continued breaking the ladder from up here. Once the ladder had broken, I jump shift onto the iron trap door and then I made my way down the passage. What I needed to do next was an MLG, but it didn't matter if I failed because it depended on failing. Once the pistons had pushed me down, I was ready to do the MLG, but instead of landing on the ladder, I landed on top of it. This gave me into the respawn screen, which then I switched into my second account, which then I blew up the only spawn point that I set my spawn on, the first kill check. Using the TNT, I blew that up, blowing up the dispenser around me too, which dropped a bunch of portion of harming. Using them, I killed this account, respawning at the spawn point of this account, which was the world spawn. Then I shifted back to my main account and clicked respawn, respawning also at the world spawn point. And that is how I escaped Tartarus. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. YouTube analytics are saying that only 0.1 of you are subscribed. Well, um, please go subscribe. On other news, go check out Mining Blob and Faze Zealous. They made this prison. All these people on the side also made these prisons. Links are in the description and on screen right now. Also, go check out Rage Mamba. He did the sounds for this video. It's amazing. Go check out his channel too. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.